What in the world? G genie? Was that a ghost or a genie? What do y'all think? Ghost or genie? I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the final exam that keeps you up for seven hours, only to five minutes of sleep before you fail me. I am K1, bringing you back more retro fun. So I'm continuing my playthrough of Darkwing Duck, and we're going to go ahead and get into Megavolt. So let's do it. Okay, so for Megavolt, Megavolt is more of the destined villain, but like a reverse style of it, because Megavolt and Drake Mallard, aka who becomes Darkwing Duck, went to the same high school and they were both bullied malicious, maliciously by the same by the same guy. And weirdly enough, that causes one, Megavolt to want to become a villain and, you know, Drake Mallard to become a hero. So it's like Batman and say Hush. Or more Batman and Prometheus. Megavolt is all about, like, maybe Riddler or Penguin. Because, you know, or, or, or definitely, or might be Scarecrow. Because Megavolt in his high school days mainly reminds me of Jonathan Crane and why he wanted to get into fear. So he creates his own thing to say, hey. When he, you know, was picked on multiple times by other people for being either Ichabod like a scarecrow or Ichabod Crane for being a coward. And that leads him to develop, you know, his stance on eradicating fear, thus making him the scarecrow later on in life, which was kind of Megavolt's thing because he was a techno geek and his powers are mainly, you know, he wears the suit and has electrical power so he can shoot beams, you know, electric electricity or you know he can take control of appliances later on okay this is supposed to be an electrical boss battle why am i fighting like genies and <sighs> some things you just you just can't make sense of sometimes okay oh yes full health and here we go with megavolt okay what in the oh oh, oh, oh no Oh, darn it. So he's gonna be that. So he is gonna be a... So yeah, he's gonna shoot beams. He's gonna sh have an... He's gonna have a... He's gonna have the side-to-side -side attack along with the straightforward attack. So you just gotta... So I guess you just gotta keep range into a certain... into this pattern. So he doesn't hop up all the time. Yes! Well, that was pretty easy. I mean, I expect more from Mega Vault, but hey, I'll take the easy win. I won't lie, his, his design. Well, these are NES graphics, but. I mean, they could have put, I mean, they at least did Liquidator and Bushroot a little better, but I won't lie, they needed some work on Mega Ball. But hey, this was the 90s, so ain't complaining. So that was the thing. We only have one more to go before we reach the finale, so join me next time. Once again, this is K1 bringing that retro fun. See y'all next time.